Hey folks, Amanda with the Happy Homestead here. I have been thinking a lot about how can I utilize rainwater up at our homestead garden, capture as much as possible for as little money as possible, <laughs> little effort as possible. And I think I've come up with a solution today that I'm gonna try out. And so, before I go into it, I'm just gonna kinda give you a very quick rundown of why I settled on what I settled with. And so, just so you see, I settled on a trash can. <laughs> Rain barrels. When did they get so expensive? Oh my goodness, have you priced a rain barrel lately? We have two in our backyard that are probably 10 years old and maybe paid $50 for them at the time. They are over like 130 and up, depending upon the size and the type and where you buy it from, um, but they are expensive and I did not want to output that much money on a rain barrel, especially just as a trial, you know, just an experiment here because there's no gutters. There's nothing that's going to feed the water into my rain barrel up at the homestead property. There's no structure. And so I needed something that was just a little bit different other than having a little hole, which brings me to the second option, which are those really large 275 pound totes. You often see the white tote and then it's encapsulated in like a steel cage. And I know people that have used those extremely successfully. But again, I have no way of um, funneling water into that tote. And also I can imagine once it's full, it is really heavy and maybe not very easy to move. Whereas this, I could just dump it out if I had to and move it around. So here we are, set on our trash can. I've got, I'll link all of the items that I'm using down below. I just bought these at my local Lowe's hardware store, but I've got like a spigot um, kit. I'm going to be using some of the, what's this called? The thread seal tape. I've got some bungee cords, a mesh top, and a drill with a hole saw attachment. So rather than me explaining everything I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get into it. The hardest part is probably gonna be right here, drilling this hole and keeping the trash can safe. Now this hole is where the spigot's gonna go. I can't, I don't want it down here, right? I need to have it a little bit up here, especially so I can get my watering can underneath. I think we're gonna try right here. It's there, like that, yeah. All right, after I do this, I can't return them. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Oh, <sighs> that went really fast. <laughs> Marley's come to check it out. A little alarming, but that went fast and easy. All right, now let's do the spigot. And so the thought is, there's a couple of parts here. I'm gonna take this apart. Okay, now that this part is in the hole successfully, I'm going to use my thread tape and you want to wrap it around just to help kind of create any seals for water and you wanna wrap it in the opposite direction that everything is gonna be spinning. Okay, let's get this on. It should create a tight seal here. on. I'm actually going to put some of the thread tape on my spigot as well. P. 
Okay, then we're gonna screw this in. Preferably with the, there we go. Look at that! <laughs> I made a rain barrel, kind of. Okay, so now the top. Okay, so this is a 39 inch diameter mesh cloth, I don't know. Um, and there is like a cord on it where you can tighten it. But I think what's gonna work even better than that are some bungees. And so I already tested and I think it's a six, no, a 24 and a 36 inch bungee, I think it was, are what's gonna work best. And so I'm just gonna attach them together like that, and then kind of just pull this down. I don't want it to be so tight that the water kind of bounces off, right? I want there to be a little give and get some of that water in there and going down into the can. And the mesh is to make sure I keep out mosquitoes from getting in there and laying larva. I do not want that. It also helps keep out debris, leaves, twigs, anything from high powered winds and storms to come through to not get in my barrel. I have considered using that hole drill and putting some holes in here to kind of use this as a catch basin too and putting it on top of the can Kind of like this, right? Keep this here, but then maybe put this on top and have some holes right here so everything kind of funnels in. And then I can put some heavy rocks right here just to help weigh everything down. So why don't I try that? I mean, I have the lid, it came with the can. We might as well try it for our experiment. careful doing this inside because you don't want to accidentally go through onto your counter or table. I didn't, but just a warning. Okay, so now we can do something like that. Still catch the water and put some rocks here to weigh it down. It's worth a try. So I bought two trash cans, so one rain barrel is done. I'm gonna go make the other one. It's that easy. We'll see, <laughs> we'll see if this actually works. But I am really excited to try. Now the trash cans were $25 each, and then I did have to buy that hole saw, two of the spigots, the bungee cords, the mesh. I think all together for the two rain barrels, 
I have spent probably about 100 to $125. I'll have to go get the exact number and I'll put it down below. But still, considering this is an experiment, considering I am not expecting a very huge long-term solution here and not having gutters, I'm pretty happy with two rain barrels for $125, especially with a decent sized catchment. So we'll go put these out of the garden. I'm out in the garden. I just got all of the rain barrels transported up here on my gorilla cart. And I do have some really large cinder blocks that I picked up at Lowe's too. So um, I've got two down there, two here. I've decided I think on my placement for my rain barrels. So what I need to do now is get the cinder blocks in place, level them out as much as I can and set up the barrels. get my can underneath it. Well, that went a lot smoother than I expected it to. So I do feel comfortable with how it is level. Um, I only just don't know because there's no water in it right now and then we are supposed to have a really big rainstorm tomorrow so I'm very grateful that I'm getting these installed but I'm hoping it's not too windy that it blows them away. I could put rocks in the bottom I'd thought about that. Um, I may just get another bigger rock to put on top. That's much better. All right, the second barrel is installed. I think the hardest part of this was getting the cinder blocks into the car and up here to the garden and moving them around. <laughs> that was literally the hardest part and it wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. So I'm excited to see how this works out. I will be sure to share it with you guys. After we get our first really good rain, I'll come out and see how they look. Thanks for joining me today. Stay healthy, stay well. Bye-bye.